Last night I met with a client and the client in the course of talking with me, the initial meeting is generally an interview of both myself and of the clients. The clients are trying to figure out if they like me, I'm trying to figure out if I like the clients in their case. Um, that is a very customary thing. We're both trying to fill each other out in that process. And during that, that conversation, the client asked me a really good question. He asked me, you know, can you describe for me what it is that your team looks like? And for any client who's looking to hire a personal injury lawyer, I don't care whether or not you got a small case or whether or not you got a huge case, you really need to be thinking about this question because the lawyer needs to have some sort of support network behind them that will help develop your case. And I say that whether or not you've got a small case or a huge case, because if you've got a huge case, you really need a lawyer with a network of people that he can rely upon to help him work up your case or her work up your case to build it up to the point where it's ready for trial. And then the alternative, if you have a very small case and the lawyer's handling those types of cases, you need to know that that lawyer's handling a very high volume of cases. And as a result, they're going to need a network of, of people, support staff, that can help them handle that sort of caseload. So that is a question that any lawyer that you are speaking with needs to be addressing for you. In addition to that, one of the que questions that the, that the client asked last night to follow up on it was, what does your caseload look like? And that's because if you've got a lawyer who's talking to you about a small case or a large case, you need to know, relative to the type of case that you have, how many cases that lawyer's handling and whether or not that's a reasonable number. Now, whether or not it's a reasonable number, you're gonna have to develop a sort of a feel for that based on the type of cases that the lawyer's handling and the type of cases that the lawyer has um, currently ongoing. So you're gonna to have to ask some follow-up questions to feel that out as well as whether or not the number of cases that he or she currently has is reasonable given um, what type of cases that they're handling and what type of case that you have. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Um, I'm always here to, to try to answer questions as well as I can. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.